to my channel. <laughs> So today, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be, we're gonna be doing a hairstyle, you guys. We're getting into the hair content. I know y'all see the mannequin, and I know y'all see the hair stand, and then the mirror too, but this beside the point. Anyways, oh, that's the hair. So as you see, we got the hair, and we're gonna separate it. And as y'all know what we like to do, we like to jump straight into videos. We're just gonna be doing box braids with curls at the ends, but we're gonna do a little mix. We're gonna add a little color mix, so it's not just gonna all be black. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, we're going to separate the hair so y'all see my little hair stand we're gonna separate all the hair on there and then the next thing is we're going to section off the mannequin's head and then after that i mean y'all know what it is we get in the braiding let's do it let's get into it let's do it <laughs> I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys i didn't want it just to be just like all oh, music and none of my voice but i did want to let you guys know what i'm getting ready to do now so after i sectioned a majority of the hair i just sectioned a good amount to get me started you can choose to fill the whole thing up or just get you started it's totally up to you being that this is a video how i'm going to section off her parts or like section off her hair i'm gonna go ahead and create the parts in her head and disclaimer mannequin parts are never going to be perfect it's all about practicing and just making sure you know what you need to do when you do work on a human's head mannequin head is very different from human head what i'm doing is i'm just separating her hair and separating the parts and putting them into bantu knots so if i was doing a real client's hair i would not do this if i was doing a real client's hair i would just put the gel on it because i'm going to get ready to go back and braid everything anyways but given that it was the mannequin meaning this video was recorded over the course of a few days this was the best thing to do to keep the parts situ to keep the parts separated from each other just to put them in a bantu knot also you guys get a little bantu knot tutorial you you just get your section you can choose to just twist like just to coil the hair but i like to twist it because it makes the top tighter and then you just wrap the hair pieces around and when it gets thinner you just tuck it into the bottom of the hair i used to think bantu knots was the hardest thing in the world and then once i did it i was like this is pretty cool but yeah so i'll let you guys enjoy the rest of it and that's all i'm gonna do
hey guys so of course i had to come back and tell you guys what is we're doing next so now i am going to be putting the braids in you guys so i'm going to be taking my mock gel this is just some old product another disclaimer when i work with mannequins i either use old product on their hair or products that didn't work for me or doesn't work on my clients that i just didn't like but it's always a mock product although the old might sound disgusting honestly that's what we grew up with you just get you some cheap product you don't even have to use product at all honestly you can just use some water if i was doing a real clients and of course i would be using the designated gel i wanted to show you guys how i do the braid or not necessarily how but just like what i do i can do an in-depth deep tutorial if you guys want me to although if there is plenty on youtube i don't mind making one myself so with the mannequins you have to be really careful because their hair is already thick so that means you don't necessarily have to add too many pieces at once or necessarily big chunks at once now we are going to be doing like a thicker braid but you you still have to take into account the mannequin's hair so all i do is i really just braid you guys i you know we're doing feeding we're doing what are we doing we're doing knotless so that means we're feeding the hair in i'll start the braid off and then once i feel like we get to like a decent point i'll add in a few pieces i'll braid down and then i may add in another piece or two so with the rest of this process, I'm actually going to be interchanging and doing the colored hair with the black hair. This one is going to be the darker blonde that I'm using. This is already like a mix of like, I want to say 27 or something. Do not quote me. And then what I do is I'm just going to do the black ones as well, which the black is just regular black. And then on the other side, we'll get there in a second where we'll do the lighter 27 is the lighter blonde color and so what i do is i don't braid all the way down because remember we're going to do mermaid braids and with mermaid braids there are curls at the ends of every braid and of course we'll get to that too just keep watching but all i'm doing is i'm going to braid it down and then i'll stop once i feel like it's a good amount to stop at and then i'll basically do the same thing to the next braid as well i'm going to make sure that i'm putting the mock product on every braid y'all it's literally the same thing over and over again and since i want this to be more relaxing for you guys i'm going to be quiet and i'll come back when we get ready to do the other lighter color bye bye
So now we're getting into the nitty gritty. No, I'm just playing, but we are going to start on the lighter blonde color as y'all saw me separating um, a few seconds ago. Again, it's the same process. I start by braiding her hair and then I go and add the hair. And no, I'm not trying to do any tucking. Even if I was, the mannequin's hair is way too thick for trying to tuck. I actually like the blend that it does. Do y'all see that? Like, I don't know. That's just so, so pretty to me. Anyway, so that's all we're going to be doing. And again, I'll let you get back to the video. Enjoy. <music>
back did you miss me so we have finished the braids on her hair and i even braided down did i not show that why did not show me braiding the hair down i don't even know you guys but i did go ahead and put rubber bands on the ends of the braids and then i braided them down as you see right here and now i am dipping the hair so i wanted to keep in the real not the real time but i wanted to keep in the all of like the dipping scene just because dipping can be difficult and i also didn't fill my picture up all the way because i really didn't want to waste too much water even though it's not much of a big deal it's as much of a deal as you make it you could put foam into the water if you would like to when you dip it again it's a mannequin so i don't do everything that i would on a human and then of course after that i am just unraveling the braids and then i'm going to kind of fluff them out i don't even think i did fluff them out i don't even remember we're both gonna find out what we did <laughs> but i know i took them out i took the braids out and then i took the rubber bands out and then we fluffed it out and then we're gonna i'm gonna show off a few different styles at the end of it so yeah This actually turned out so freaking cute. I am wanting to do this with my hair. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Make sure to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend.
what we do here you know what i mean this actually turned out so cute and i'm so excited i can't wait to play with the different hairstyles and play with the rest of the mannequins we got some styles that we need to take down so, yeah so yeah i did the mannequins and the styles to play with it there is a specific style that you want me to try please leave it down below don't worry i'm just gonna be doing the styles but i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video i really hope you guys enjoyed it because i did too anyways i'll catch you guys in the next video